Yeah. Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. And before I get on here live, let me say to the young people, old people alike, just say no to drugs. That's all you got to do. Your beloved icon, Nicki Minaj, caught up in Amsterdam by way of drugs. You know, just leave that stuff alone. Too late in the game. You know, wars and rumors of wars. China, Taiwan situation, Ukraine is still going on. The Iran president mysteriously died in a helicopter crash. We're living in perilous times. You saw the signs even in the sky, the northern lights. Man, it's time to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ain't no excuses. You don't want to wind up OD and find yourself lifting up your eyes in hell. Then it'll be too late. So let's go and roll this thing. Let's go. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to real life. Amen. I'm Minister Kale. Real life, you know, get a little hot in the South. Praise God for it. For the heat. For the cold, for whatever it is, his mercies are fresh every morning. Amen. So bear with me. You know, we got a lot of mosquitoes, cicadas, and all kind of stuff that could run on out. But that's what it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace and blessings be multiplied from the highest. That's God the Father. And from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, hopefully I could take my time, kick back with the word of God. If you have a King James version of the Bible, I, I believe I will start off in Hebrews. We're going to talk about our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the bravery that he was obedient unto death. The death on the cross where he was tortured. He was an innocent man, had that innocent blood. Hallelujah. And we thank God that he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But I'm in Hebrews, the 10th chapter. We're going to let the Bible speak a little bit and see how this goes. Amen. Hebrews, the 10th chapter. And let's start at verse number four. It says, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. That's right. So the ultimate sacrifice, the sacrificial lamb was Jesus Christ. For it says it wasn't possible that the blood of, uh, you know, goats and, and, and calves and what have you, you know, the Old Testament, the Levit Levitical priest, sacrificing animals, right? But if we keep reading, Hebrews 10 and 5, it says, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. But a body hast thou prepared me. You see that? But a body. See, the body was made. Hallelujah. Now, it, it was never about the sacrificing of animals, but it was about obedience. Amen. So it says here, but a body hast thou prepared me. So that was the body, the natural body. This is talking about the natural body. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The natural body. There is a natural body. And there is a spiritual body. Now I believe that Jesus Christ existed. Of course. Before he came. In that natural body. Of course the word of God. Tells us over there in John. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So I believe he dwelt. In eternity with his father his God and father that's what I believe hallelujah and, and if we continue to read it says and the word was made flesh now that's talking about the word being made into the, the body the natural body so we're talking about the natural body a bit and we're going to also talk about the spiritual body because I believe before Jesus Christ had a natural body he had a spiritual body before the natural body now some are going around saying that i don't know was it marcus rogers who said before jesus christ came he was just a thought and some people are saying he was just a thought <laughs> right what you gonna do about melchizedek what you gonna do about the appearance when abraham 
uh, and Jesus saying, before Abraham was, I am. Hey Amen. What you going to do about that, about the appearances of our Lord and Savior? What you going to do about that? Saying that Jesus Christ was just a thought. But I believe that Jesus Christ had a spiritual body even before the natural body. Of course, we know he existed before his natural body, before he came through Mary. Now, we see here about the natural body and what was created uh, was the natural body, right? Now, what wasn't created, and even so, of course, a spiritual body has to be created. The natural body, there's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. We learned that by what Paul taught us over there in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, right? But look, let me show you something. Let's get into the nat natural body. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and, and, and what transpired because the angel was sent to Nazareth, right? Let's go to Luke, the first chapter. We're going to bump around. Now, this was Gabriel sent to a virgin espoused to Joseph. She was the espoused virgin. She was the engaged virgin to Joseph. They had never had relations. She was a virgin. That's right. For time's sake, let's skip down to Luke, the first chapter, verse 31. It says, And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. We're talking about what happened in the womb. What was created in the womb. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. So what was created? was created in the womb of Mary. And he was fearfully and wonderfully made like all of us created in the womb of our mother. Hallelujah, right? And it says, uh, now we know Jesus Christ under the law came through a woman, that was Mary, hallelujah. But let's, 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 let's look at this, right? And it says, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Now look at your Bibles, I'm in Luke the first chapter 31. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Now, a lot of times you hear me say Tom on this channel. We're talking about to the newcomers to my channel, an old false prophet who think he can uh, call down fire from heaven and turn his staff into a snake. This old crazy false prophet named Tom, when you hear me talk about him, that's who I'm talking about. Now, you don't need to know uh, the details. Just follow me, right? So now we have a false prophet who uh, believes that John the Baptist is Elijah. So there wasn't two persons created. There was just one, and that was Elijah, who uh, came by way of John the Baptist. But he don't understand, and he can't even discern the word of God, that it was John the Baptist who came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. See, when Elijah died, or excuse me, he didn't die, he was... Uh, he went up into heaven, right? And who was there? Elisha, right? And he received a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. So does that mean that Elisha is Elijah? No. John the Baptist came in the spirit and the power of Elijah, right? He even told you that he's not Elijah in the scripture. But this old knucklehead false prophet who want to get on me about the name Jesus. And like I said, the Father, the Son of God, and the Holy Ghost, the name, they all have the same name. It's one name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. It was the Son of God who came and manifested or revealed that name. See, we didn't know a name of God called, by the way, Jesus. We didn't know that. Now look at it. Jesus, capital J-E-S-U-S. What does it mean? It means Jehovah is salvation. See, there are other Jesuses. Jesus justice, bar Jesus. This is why when the apostle Peter on the day of Pentecost said, when he was filled with the Holy Ghost, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now that's the title along with the name 
that I'm showing you right here, given by Gabriel, by God, of course, sent Gabriel, and the name given was one name, which means Jehovah is salvation, Jesus. But keep in mind that there's other Jesus. So when you say Jesus Christ, you're saying it all. It's the same way that the only way a man can be baptized to make it official is you're saying the Lord Jesus. When you say the Lord Jesus, you know, let's talk about the Son of God, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. There's only one. Or if you say Jesus Christ, we know that's talking about the Son of God or the Lord Jesus because it was the Son of God who died. So you're putting that distinction on that one name. And that one name is Jesus. And I believe it is the name of the Father, the Son of God, and the Holy Ghost. But I only use, for the Son of God, I only use Jesus Christ, right? Because the Son of God is the Messiah. The Son of God is God's anointed, and he was anointed by his Father. The Father was, wasn't anointed by anyone. So you can clearly see in Luke, the first chapter, thou shalt call his name Jesus. Now, what that means is... Uh, Jehovah is salvation. Now, let's look at Jehovah, right? Oh, we got to go all the way back to Exodus, the sixth chapter. Let me just show you how it's capitalized. Hallelujah. Exodus 6 and 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. Some people say El Shaddai. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And also... A name we didn't know because Jesus Christ came and manifested that name was Jesus. And in this time period, neither is there salvation in any other. Sometimes I'll talking about the father, I'll call him Jehovah. Why? It's right there in the book. So I respect it in the closest translation or interpretation to the original tongues is the King James version of the Bible. Call his name, but, my, but by my name, Jehovah, and it's capitalized. Now look at Luke 1. Uh, 31 towards the end thou shalt call his name Jesus it means Jehovah is salvation so when you apply the title man you saying it all we're complete in him who Jesus Christ the son of the living God hallelujah it says here verse number 32 y'all it says he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest so you got that old hater who been Hating on me, old time who hating on me so much, boy, because I shook him up, called him out from the first time. He said, oh, Jesus Christ, drunk water on his fat. He make up all this crazy stuff, all this crazy nonsense. He say that uh, Elijah is John the Baptist, not understanding that he just came in the spirit and the power of Elijah with all these lies. Right. Old time over there, call. Now, 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 look what the Bible say. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. But time over there is calling the son of God the highest. Jesus Christ told you that the father is higher than him. So who are you going to believe? Now, all these big names, I don't know if Gino's still going that way or Whoever else, if Marcus Rogers is saying Jesus Christ was only a thought. Jesus Christ existed before that, and I believe he had a spiritual body. That's what I believe. Before he had the natural body. Now, some don't believe it. Fine, right? He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. You hear me say the highest. That's talking about, I'm talking about God the Father. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the scripture. Say it with Christ's confidence. Hallelujah. And the Lord God shall give unto him. Oh my goodness. You see where it say the Lord God? That's his father, the highest. He's going to give him something. He gave him a name, which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. So we see God the Father, the highest, and we see the Son of God, who's the Son of the highest. What was created? Because Jesus Christ is called the beginning of the creation of God, right? Let's go to 
uh, Revelation 3. I think that's the third chapter in that 14. And unto the angel of the church of allowed the sins, right? These things say the amen. Hallelujah. Amen means of the truth. Jesus Christ told you that he's the truth. He's the way. He's the door. He's the good shepherd. Hallelujah. He's the bishop of your soul. Hallelujah. It says here, these things saith the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Now we're talking about the first thing brought forth from the father was the one who proceeded forth and came from. And we know even the natural body, we know that was created, a body thou hast prepared me, it was prepared. Hallelujah. But one thing, because he's called the beginning of the creation of God. So are we saying that's the first thing that God created? I don't see why not, but I'm going to tell you that the spirit of Jesus Christ was never created. What was created was the body. That's what I'm saying. So when I say the beginning of the creation of God, I know what I'm saying. Because we look, even so, when Jesus Christ came and was made in the womb of Mary, the natural body, because he came through a woman. Let's look. Uh, I'm back in Luke 1. Let's start at 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Wait a minute. The Holy Ghost and the power of the highest? Well, the power of the highest is the Holy Ghost. The power of the highest is the spirit of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of Jesus Christ. That was never created. What was created in the womb of Mary is the body, of course, the natural body. Amen. Now, before that, in eternity, what was brought forth? Still, uh, Jesus Christ tell you that he proceeded forth and came from God. Hallelujah, right? We're still focusing on the natural body, though. It says, in the power of the highest, I'm in Luke 1, 35, in the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. That's the spirit of Jesus Christ still, right? I say the spirit of Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost. You got old knucklehead over there saying, well, you got to admit that Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost. Well, make it what people could understand. Jesus Christ himself is not the Holy Ghost with the body, but his spirit is. There's a difference between flesh and spirit. There's a difference between a body and spirit. A spiritual body, there's substance with that, right? Therefore, also that holy thing. You see the substance? You see the thing? That holy thing was the body that was formed in the womb. The spirit of Jesus Christ was never formed in the womb. So what was formed was the body. The power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing, that's talking about that body. Amen, that was created. Hallelujah. Well, he is the beginning of the creation of God, but even before he came through Mary. But we're talking and focusing on the natural body right now. Right? That holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So what was created? The body. Therefore, hast thou prepared a body for me because he didn't desire the, the blood of animals. Amen. So he sent his only begotten Son. So the gene on them, uh, the father didn't send himself. And the father didn't raise himself from the dead. Got old knucklehead over there, old hater Tom, who say stuff like that, right? But anyway, just to break a few things down, I want to get on here. I'm a little uh, late start today. This is real life in the elements. I'm Minister Kev. Until the next time, y'all be blessed.